model was updated, so the datum was updated to NAV 88, NAV D88, uh, so it brought us almost into the 21st century. Um, everything was much more detailed. We ran um, 130,000 storms statewide, but more than 12,000 in the Tampa Bay area. And this for the first time. Councilman and Monteleone has a question yes. for you. What's a slosh model? What's a slosh model? Well, uh, first is NOAA's uh, numerical storm surge model. Um, and hopefully, there's some pictures here. I don't know if you can see them. But basically, what we do is run in a hypothetical storm and determine what the storm surge would be at each of the 3,500 uh, uh, grid cells. And then we can subtract out the elevation and determine how deep it's going to be and what areas need to be evacuated. Thank you. What are the letters? Oh. It stands for Sea Lake and Overland Surges from Hurricanes. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, one of the uh, really cool products of the project was the uh, Storm Type Atlas, and I brought one that um, and I can bring you additional ones if you would like, but what it provides is very detailed information and we put on some of the critical facilities on there, points of reference, for example, on this particular example, the surgical center was there and the uh, spot elevation. So you can see how deep the water is and, and specifically almost block by block what areas would be in the day. We also uh, did a critical facility uh, geo database and we looked at everything from our healthcare facilities to our potential points of distribution, our pods, logistic staging areas, EOCs, uh, hospitals, nursing homes, law enforcement, fire, EMS, all those structures, and determine which ones were the most vulnerable. You, that's not, you, you have more than three minutes, so oh, okay. finish your presentation. <laughs> that was five, okay. That was, that was five. your five minutes, okay. Barbara, so. Okay. Okay. We're on the last stretch here. Uh, the behavioral analysis for this, we did a huge survey. We surveyed over 600,000 um, people, uh, not just in our area, but in the coastal areas, and also some in that were inland. Um, pretty much we're asking them, would you leave? Under what circumstances would you leave? Uh, do you know your zone? Uh, when would you leave? Where do you plan on going? And we got some pretty um, uh, surprising reactions in terms of uh, our assumptions in terms of the behavioral survey itself. 